What's up everybody? My name is Justin and welcome back to another episode of Whiskey Tears on today's video. We're doing the holiday bottled in bond, but this is the soft red wheat. Okay, so holiday bottled in bond, soft red wheat. I don't know why they changed from Ben holiday to just holiday between the two. I'm sure there's some kind of reason, but I don't know what it is. This one is coming in at six years old, whereas the regular bottle and bond comes in at seven years old. Obviously it's a hundred, a hundred proof since it is bottled and bond and the information on the side of this one. So this one also comes from Brick House C distilled in spring of 2017, bottled in August of 2023. And 100% of this bottle comes from floor number four. So that kind of makes this sound like it's not only bottle and bond but it sounds a little bit like it's also a single barrel so i'm excited to pop this one and try it i've heard really good things about holiday in general the bottle and bond if you guys didn't see the last video maybe let me down just a little bit but the soft red wheat has been getting insane reviews so i'm excited to try it let's pop this top is this one gonna be a screw top too oh i hope not oh it looks it is it's a screw top too all right let's screw this thing open and get the nosing straight out of the box it's like a burnt orange, almost a burnt orange, but it's a really sweet burnt orange. A lot of caramel in there, a lot of caramel, some oakiness. Maybe a, just a smidge of mint on there too, which I didn't really get any of that out of the last bottle, but maybe just a smidge of mint on there as well. So yeah, I mean, I can't complain about the nose. I can complain about the screw caps. I don't know why in this day and age, we're doing screw caps, but hey, it is what it is. So I'm excited to try it. Hey, do me one big favor. If you guys haven't already hit like, hit subscribe on the video. It's absolutely free for you. It means a lot for me. And if you really want to help support the channel, help me buy a lot more bottles to do, go ahead and hit that join button. It's only $2 a month. You get your name on the uh, beginning intro segment there. So anyways, here we go. Nosing out of the glass. So somehow this is like even sweeter than the regular Baldwin Bond was. This has like that granulated uh, sugar note to it. Like it's uh, it's like a if you just took water and put like just granulated sugar in it and smelled it. But then obviously it's also got the other notes on there. The super sweet it does have some red fruits on there. This one isn't straight cherry like the last one was. This is like a medley of red fruits. Super sweet oak, super sweet caramel. I am still getting that hint of mint too, which I didn't get at all out of the regular bottle and bond. So I don't know if my nose is just jacked up or there actually is a small smidgen of, of mint on there. I really like the nose on this one. The nose on this one, I think is better than the regular bottle and bond. So that makes me very excited to try this one today. See what it tastes like because the other one was good but it didn't really blow me out of the water it didn't do anything overly special for me so it was just kind of like okay that's fine it's a fine bottle but i probably wouldn't go back for seconds honestly looking back now i probably wouldn't go back for seconds and buy that bottle again it'll be fine to sit on the shelf and have as a sipper give to some people let them try it but as an everyday backup thing that i'm looking at probably not but anyways Go ahead and get into the taste here on the soft red wheat. Is there any other information on here? No, doesn't look like it. These guys are out of Missouri. So that may be affecting the profile just a little bit, but I got a lot of Buffalo Trace similarities in my mind on the regular bottle and bond. We'll see if this one does something similar, but here we go. Cheers, everybody. Okay, first, first thing that I noticed and then this may just be standing out to me because I'm doing these videos back to back is definitely getting some sourdough bread notes on this one. Super sweet sourdough bread, vanilla. There's a lot of vanilla, some, some oakiness in there in the background, but not a huge amount of oakiness on this one. There is a just a smidge smidgen of bitteriness on the end, which is, I was not expecting because the other one was not at all.
a little bit of you know what there's some orange and orange peel in there for sure uh on some of the sweetness man i'll tell you what i'm going back and forth in my head right now which one i like more because the nosing on this one in my mind is definitely the winner but i don't know palette you may have to do some kind of head to head and just see which one came out on top of these because right now i'm not sure okay so i think i've picked out on this one what's throwing me off a little bit and i think it's got actually some floral notes on this one which i've been sitting here taking a couple sips and i was trying to figure out what was there beyond those couple regular sweet flavors and then the sourdough bread but there's actually a couple like floral notes on this and it's more like it kind of makes me think about like the leaves of a flower maybe like dandelion or something along those lines, like how that smells. Obviously, I've never tasted those things, so I can't tell you what they taste like, but how that smells kind of comes across in this a little bit. It's actually also, too, got just a, a tad bit of spiciness, like floating through it that you don't notice at first, but the more sips you take, the more you start to say to yourself, hey, there's a little bit of spice in there, too. Yeah, it's like a very soft pepper, like a cracked black pepper, but if it was like, you just got like the regular pepper out of the shaker at like uh, the restaurant or something like that. You didn't fresh grind it or something along those lines. Yeah. So it's interesting. I don't know. I'm, I'm torn because so many people have given this such great reviews and I was looking up some different mash bills that they put on the side here. And I'm wondering why this one came in at 100% from floor four where I've seen bunch more were like this one where it was kind of spread out and mixed throughout the floor so i don't know if maybe this one they just thought was exceptional or maybe they got lazy on this one and just said screw it we're dumping this whole one in and going with it but i don't know they're very close to me i really think i like the nose on this one a little bit more than the palate and the, the nose is the nose is really good it's got some really good notes on the nose it's got that granulized sugar and that oakiness and it's got some of that orange orange notes in there it's it's really really nice on the nose i just don't know if i like it as much on the palate i mean don't get me wrong it's not bad i'm not trying to say it's bad at all i just think maybe these were hyped up a little bit too much in my head maybe hyped up a little bit too much in my head so let's go ahead and rank this thing on the tier system because obviously that's what we do here on this channel let me take this uh one last little sips here and we'll go ahead and rank it yeah i mean once again i think it's coming up a little bit short of the expectations that i had in my brain from everything that i've seen online it's just not maybe it's just not my palette maybe you know a lot of other people like it like i said the regular bottle and bond i thought was very buffalo trace like which i can see why a lot of people would like that i'm not a huge buffalo trace guy so maybe that's why i put it a little bit lower but anyways for today for the holiday not the ben holiday just the holiday for some reason on this one soft red wheat bottled and bond on the tier system i'm gonna put it t tier <laughs> i'm gonna put it c tier it's fine there's no there's nothing wrong with it but it also doesn't blow me out of the water really in any category except for maybe the nose i think the nose was definitely above c tier but the palette everything else screw top I do like the transparency that they put on the labels. I'm a little confused why this one is 100% from one floor. Did they just dump one barrel in? Maybe I got a single barrel. I don't know. It doesn't say single barrel, but why would you do just one floor if it was not a single barrel? It's, yeah, I don't know. So I'm gonna think I'm a little bit confused. I did fresh pop both of these when I did these reviews. So maybe I should give them a little bit of time to open up and then come back to them. Maybe do a secondary review, maybe do a blind head to head. See which one i think is better so let me know if that's something you guys would like to see down in the comments below but for me it's going on the c tier today so it is what it is hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure you hit like and subscribe i'll see you for your next drink